A graffiti mural of a tree painted by the famous street artist Banksy has already been defaced with white paint. The piece appeared on a wall in Finsbury Park on Sunday and had attracted large crowds from the local community. Banksy fans visited the mural, uh, described the recent uh, defacement as wanton vandalism. Joining us now is the people's art critic, Estelle Lovett. Uh, welcome, Estelle. Uh, I want lots of, lots of art to talk uh, today, uh, but uh, what did you make of this vandalistic attack on uh, Banksy's tree. Uh, by the way, uh, somebody said to me, that's the greatest ever Banksy. There was something kind of brilliantly imaginative about what he did forming that tree around the uh, sort of stumps of, uh, uh, of, of the earlier tree, as it were, and then it got defaced. Uh, what did you make of it as a piece of graffiti art? And what did you make of the vandals? Well, I, I thought as a piece of street art, graffiti art, done by Banksy. I, th I thought it was his usual genius, the technical skill, his talent, his ability to put a, a political or a social message behind it as a theme, I thought was amazing. You know, when, when you look at the uh, stencil of, of the woman on, on the left who's holding the, the pressure spray, mm. um, you know, it, it makes it so relevant to today because everybody today is talking about either having a pressure spray or an air fryer or a coffee machine or a peloton so it makes it relevant to today but it also makes us question what man is doing to the planet and to nature about the climate crisis without having to go into a gallery and chucking a tin of soup over a work of art <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so sad, isn't it, that basically this thing is sort of appeared and 24 hours later some yobbo has essentially scribbled all over it. I mean, that, that, I know there was one particular Banksy, I think, in Bristol that someone had sort of wantonly knocked down, but by and large, when Banksy's pop up, people treasure them. Yeah, absolutely. You're quite right, Alex. And it's a way of bringing the community together. And some people will say, well, it's not graffiti, it's vandalism. Well, uh, by definition, um, how can we say which one it is? Uh, does it create lawless disorder or does it bring people together from a distance it, it's lovely especially now as we all crave a little bit of, of sunshine but you know having somebody come along and deface it whitewash it with paint it's it it means nothing more than a cat going by and lifting its leg up against yeah. the wall it's mind mindless vandalism listen we've got a lot to get through uh, uh estelle and uh, i want to bring you on to the uh, difficult topic of football statues, <laughs> football statues, uh, and I'm going to introduce something uh, slightly random. Uh, so uh, let's talk about the random thing first. Uh, basically, the England strip or the England T-shirt that they're going to wear to the Euros, the footballers, uh, they've amended the uh, flag on the back. It's supposed to be the St George's flag. For some reason, Nike have changed it into a pink LGBT thing uh, that, you know, it's like, and they say, this is our playful take on uh, the St George's flag. And uh, we're going to have a quick listen to our colleague on Talk Sport, Simon Jordan, addressing this issue this morning. Take it away, Simon. I don't understand why we need a playful interpretation of our national flag. I don't want to get into the hysteria and hyperbole that some other people are talking about, but I don't quite understand what we're trying to achieve here. It's part of our national identity. The problem with this country at times is the policy of appeasement and no central values, and that's why we have so many of the challenges we have in societal issues. And the reality is we have a national identity, and part of that is the flag of St George's. It's not me getting carried away and being offended on behalf of it, but the bottom line is, are we? is it a joke? Is our national identity a joke? Is it something that we're ashamed of? Not really an art issue, uh, Estelle. Just wanted to get that in because I wanted to get it off my chest. Uh, let's talk about football sculptures. Uh, uh, you, have you seen the uh, statue of Harry Kane, yes. which we learned uh, yes. has been... I mean, that doesn't really look like Harry Kane. I mean, that is a hideous mess of a statue, is it not? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it looks a little bit like Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. Or, <laughs> yes. Or doesn't it? Doesn't it? Or yeah. Frank Skinner or a bit Stan Laurelish. And, you know, it also looks a, a, as though it's going to melt or somebody's <laughs> going to lick it because it looks like it's made of chocolate just in time for Easter instead of an Easter yeah. egg, you know, get, get a chocolate football sculpture. Um, and, you know, he this is this is meant to be one of our greatest footballers, right? So why is he depicted as resting on a bench? 
like yeah. a sub, yeah. you know, waiting to be called called on. What um, I want to and, know. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not a, not a great likeness. But do you th remember back to the Ronaldo bus? Yeah, yeah, right? we yeah, did those yeah, this yeah. morning. Mo Fat, ah, Mo, Mo, Mo is, Salah is, is the one. There's, football, there's Ronaldo. There's a football statue warehouse somewhere with one blind man working <laughs> there, fumbling away in the dark, creating well, these things. But there's a whole litany of these football statues that are terrible. The Mo Salah one defies belief. Why are they always so terrible? There he is. Look, <laughs> look at that. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, no, they're really bad. What, what about, um, you know, what was supposed to be Michael Jackson outside? Yeah, well, that was outside Fulham. my club, Fulham, yeah. But what, right, why, right. why are they all so terrible? Well, perhaps there's a difference between being a fine artist or a sculptor and being a um, a, a, a rubbish a one. Of a monument. rubbish one, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, Estelle, <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. Great oh, to talk to you as always, Thanks, Estelle. Estelle. Love it there. The people's art critics.